Number nine, the Enrique family and port Jews. Most Jews who settled in the free port of Mastrand came from Copenhagen. Many came from Northern Europe, but some Jews are registered as Portuguese. The Portuguese or Sephardic Jews came from the Iberian Peninsula. They had been subjected to persecution and expulsion during the Inquisition of the 15th century. The majority of these Jews engaged in international trade at sea. They settled in port cities such as Amsterdam, London, Trieste or Hamburg. In research, these Jews are called port Jews. Where you stand now, the merchant Bendix Moses Enrique lived. Bendix was born in Denmark in 1725. Since his grandmother Esther came from a Sephardic Jewish family, the family, in contrast to the so-called German Jews, had special privileges in Denmark. Bendix engaged in trading activities in Copenhagen before moving to Mastrand in 1786. At Mastrand, he bought a property for 1,300 Riksdaler. In addition to doing business, Bendix played a central role in the Jewish community at Mastrand. Among other things, Bendix was a circumciser, a mohel, and a ritual kosher butcher, shoshet. Bendix Moses Enrique left Mastrand before the abolition of the Freeport in 1794 and settled in Gothenburg. From 1790 onwards, he was a registered tradesman. Until his death on January the 21st, 1807, Bendix was the director of the Gothenburg Jewish Congregation. It was on Bendix's initiative that the parish received permission to build the Jewish cemetery at Svingeln in Gothenburg. Did Bendix Moses Enrique have any family? Yes. Bendix Moses was married twice and had a total of nine children. His first wife died in Copenhagen in 1763, and his second wife, Elishua Chawa, died in Gothenburg on August the 7th, 1796. The son, Samuel Enrique, 1765 to 1816, stayed for a short period at Mastrand but in 1792 received a certificate of protection as a trader in Gothenburg. There he became a partner with his brother-in-law, Simon Elias Varberg. Daughter Zippora Enrique married Simon Elias Varberg. He was born in Hamburg, but later moved to Copenhagen. For a period, he lived on Maastrand but then settled in Gothenburg in 1792. He received a certificate of protection as a trader and ran a successful business under the company name S.E. Varberg & Co. After a few years, he was able to buy Johannaberg's farm and became one of the directors of Gothenburg's Jewish congregation. Mm -hmm.